at Adjuster Care with Trish, looking at a range of equipment, and we've got this beautiful piece of equipment here in front of us. What have we here? <laughs> the Sports Rider by Pride Mobility. So the Sports Rider is for those that are just not ready to take on a mobility scooter in terms of well, the sense of mobility scooter looking. Um, it keeps the young ones alive and those looking to have that independence that yeah, aren't necessarily in need of an old people's scooter. <laughs> yeah, so one of the first points of difference there is kind of like aesthetics. Absolutely. Obviously it has the same sort of features as a standard mobility yeah. scooter of its ability to um, go forward, go yeah. backwards, turn, have um, lights on it and blinkers and a little horn on it. Um, but it's how it looks and yeah. it's more appealing for people. Sort of how we've spoken in a couple of other videos of like de-hospitalising, de-care, sort of institutionalising the look of equipment. We we're talking about that with beds. So people that get prescribed beds can feel like they're a little bit too hospital in nature. And I guess you can sort of feel we've got a range of other scooters sort of up and behind us here. Some of those looking a little bit just, I guess, older yeah. in terms of how a younger generation may view them. So they may be more open to having um, this piece of equipment meet their mobility care needs. So what are some of the great features that you usually tell people about with this yeah. model? Well, I guess the removable arms that yep. can come up and down. So side transfer isn't an issue if you are needing to side transfer. We have had a client come in who was wheelchair bound as an amputee and he was able to transfer yep. directly over. So that was a really big positive. It's up to 180 kilo weight limit. Yep. Um, so really great for you know, most people's um, weight choices. And you get about 50 kilometres. So you're not right. concerned about popping down to the shops or to your local club, etc. 50 kilometres is a, stuck. quite a long range yeah. for a scooter. Absolutely. Um, large wheels. Yeah, very huge, large. Like <laughs> much bigger than Absolutely. almost any other type of scooter. So gives you a much better off-road capability yeah. being able to if say from your home to supermarket or cafe or friend's house etc doesn't have that um, interconnected footpaths everywhere say like in CBD most people in suburbs will have to go over grass and little gutters and thresholds and this will navigate almost anything that you put in front of it, I would imagine. It's great for taller men too, because it has that leg room. Yep. Um, so a lot of the other mobility scooters that we see, their legs are tucked up quite tight, their knees up, end up up near their chest, and it becomes quite uncomfortable. Yep. Um, also has a seat belt for a little bit of safety, so yep. you can speed up and hit those bumps. <laughs> yep. So an occupational therapist would be supporting somebody to make these decisions, especially when accessing or purchasing equipment through funding schemes such as the NDIS, such as home care pack packages, etc. But there are other funding models as well. We're looking at a range of different things for safety with scooters, typically starts with liaising with someone's general practitioner, their doctor. Are there any considerations, precautions or contraindications that would make operating a piece of machinery, um, like driving a car, um, dangerous or something to consider? Then we then move on to more of a scooter assessment, which is almost like a driving assessment. So taking people through their ability to operate the scooter, turning, navigating obstacles, uh, three-point turning, using the mirror, reversing. We then also like to know where is this going to be stored at home? Do you have somewhere under cover? How are you going to charge it, etc., etc. So the important thing with this is an occupational therapist is really well placed to take their time with that and make you feel comfortable going through that assessment. Sometimes people will feel really comfortable straight away. Great, let me on, away I go. They've you know driven and ridden, ridden motorbikes and golf carts and all things their life and it's no problems. Other times this may be the first time anyone has ever operated a piece of motored equipment in their life and it can be quite confronting. The important thing is we take that time and, and train and a good thing here at Adjusticare is you've got a lot of space too. Um, yeah. We can you know, decrease the speed a little bit as we're training and navigate lots of different pieces of equipment um, around the store here and take our time to build that mm -hmm. confidence. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Any other things that you would like to touch on? No, I think so. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time. We'll see you in the next episode.